Will you? Well, I will. The two most powerful words in the English language are I will. Because what comes after I will will shape your life. What you speak after I will, what you believe after the words I will, will control your decisions and shape your life totally. If you believe you will succeed, you will succeed. If you believe you are capable of achieving great things, you will achieve those great things. You will attempt those great things in the first place. If you speak into your life resilience and determination to overcome anything, you will be ready to face and overcome anything. Friends, let the power of I will shape your life in the most powerful way. What you speak after I will is important. What you believe after the words I will will control your decisions and shape your life. Friends, if you believe you are strong, if you believe you are capable of achieving great things, you will attempt those great things in life. I will love. I will be strong. I will be successful. I will be an achiever. I will be abundant. I will be rich. I will be determined. I will be focused. I will be disciplined. I will be healthy. I will be wealthy. I will be beautiful. I will be wise. I will be capable of anything. I will be someone who makes things happen. I will be filled with faith. I will be blessed. I will be grateful to God. I will believe in God. I will thank God for making me a miracle. I will be connected. I will be with God 24-7. I will be more than my body. I will be empathetic towards others. I will be ready for others. I will be focused with others. I will be excited. I will be a fighter. I will be more than enough. I will be a winner. And friends, I will be a champion. Friends, you can't just speak the words. You must feel the words. And then you must believe those words, I will. Repeat them every single day. Let them soak into your subconscious. Dream about the words, I will. Because what follows them, let the power become one with you. Are you ready to be great? I will. Replace I want with I will. What comes after I will is the most important thing you could say. Instead of saying I want to be rich, just say I will be rich. Say it. Feel it. Feel it until you believe it. I will love. I will be strong. I will be successful. I will be abundant. I will be rich. I will be determined. I will be focused. I will be disciplined. I will be capable of anything. I will be strong. I will be a strong person. I will be limitless. Thoughts are powerful, my friends. Thoughts lead to actions, my friends. Actions over time become habits, and habits lead to long-lasting results. If you speak negativity into your life, negativity will show up in your life. I will be me, and I want you to be you. Now stay tuned and join for today's message. Take care. Take care. Hello, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, an author, and the host of this show to take your life back today. Radio show, you can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube under channel Take Your Life Back Today Show. Four ways God speaks to you. Four ways God does speak. Sometimes one way and sometimes another. Even though people may not understand it, Job 33, 14. A lot of us think we're too busy to listen for God's response, but we have to take the time to tune in and listen because God is speaking. Job 33, 14 says, God does speak sometimes one way, sometimes another. Even though people may not understand it, God does speak. The question is, how do we understand it? How do I tune in so that I can hear God's voice. Here are four of the channels that God uses. Four of them. There might be more. God speaks to us through the Bible. It's your guidebook for life. It shows you the right step to take. That is why you need to read God's word each and every day. If you're not having a daily quiet time and reading the Bible, God is getting a busy signal when he wants to speak to you. 
You have to keep a constant connection because God's will is found in God's word. God's will is found in God's word. God speaks to us <laughs> through teachers. Have you ever been in a uh, church service and felt like uh, what the teacher was saying was a direct message from God to you? There's no way I or any other teacher could figure out exactly what to, to say to meet every need. But God knows. So before every service, I pray, God, you know the people and need uh, and the needs out there. Give me the right things to say. Give me the right moves to make. God speaks to us through uh, impressions. Friends, <clears throat> excuse me. There are two extremes to this one. One extreme is the r- r- rationalist uh, who believes that no impression can be from God. It is. It has to be illogical. It has to be logical. At the, at the other extreme is the mystical belief that every impression is from God. You need to get in the middle and realize that every impression has to match God's word. Every impression has to match God's word. God speaks to us through our circumstances, my friends. We, uh, we're going to live a life of significance if we're going to live that life. God's got to make constant course corrections. And one of the things he uses to do that is the circumstances that come into our lives. Constantly modifying us. When you start to listen to God through circumstances, impressions, teachers, or the Bible, sometimes he's going to lead you in ways that uh, you don't understand. <clears throat> Just hang in there. Following God is not always easy, but it will reap more blessings in your life than you could ever, ever, ever imagine. Let's talk it over. I mean, let, think about that. When was a time that God used one of these channels to speak to you, to speak to you about your will for your life. How do you think God wants you to test an impression to see if it's from God? I mean, how do you need to change your perspective on your circumstances so that God can use them to speak to you today? Well, friends, call me at 844-405-HELP because Tell me, how does he speak to you through one of these channels, if not to all four? Be good to yourselves. Always be good to each other. Remember, a simple smile to anyone can change their day, their life, and can change your life. God speaks to us through channels, four at minimum. Call me at 844 help Tell me if he has spoken to you in any of those channels or of all of them, or you even want to recommend any other channels. May God bless you. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Take good care of yourselves. God bless you. Bye-bye now.